Welcome Leo, my beautiful lions. I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your Angel Tarot and Oracle card reading for the week of May the 25th to June the 1st. I truly again want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, sharing, and most of all subscribing. Always be sure to click the option ALL, make the bell ring, and you'll get notified immediately when any of my card readings are out here for you to view. As you know, this is a collective general reading, and that means that not every single card or the energy that they carry will resonate with every single one of you. But take what you can from it and throw the rest out into the universe. If you want clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, then I welcome you and invite you to click the little icon in the right-hand corner, top right-hand corner of this video, and it will take you directly to my website where you can see the services that I offer. But all of that information is listed below as well in the information box. So we are doing the nine card spread again here. Some people look at this as past, present, future. Um, I read them all and I will be clarifying every single card with a traditional tarot. This is the angel tarot. Uh, you have a theme card and you have a conclusion card here. The funny thing is I was shuffling and this joy card came out once and I went, no, I want a new one. This came out with a la with another reading and I shuffled and again it flew out. It shuffled and shuffled by the way and it flew out of the deck again. So Leo, you are you're meant to have this joy card as your theme. So this is all about you finding joy in your life when we talk about this theme card here for this reading. And you know what? It's about um you know what you can do to invite happiness into your life. And how you know what are you doing to make that happen? And you know what, it's, you, you are a conduit for joy. All you have to do is do not detach yourself from it. This is your higher, pur higher purpose. That you have the ability with your joy to impact other people's lives. This also refers to improved health. Uh, and there could be a birth coming in. Someone in your family giving birth to a child or to uh, an exciting endeavor birth to their dreams or goals. This could be you as well. So this is ways about you, Leo, seeking, seeking out the joy that you can find this week. All right. How we feel about ourselves transcends out into the universe and we attract what we throw out there. So try to make it joyful. This is about you seeking joy, needing joy, uh, and you know, karmically being sent a message that you should find more of that this week in your life. Now this is your crowning energy here and look what you got. You got again the karmic wheel of good fortune being sent to you. This is the wheel of wheel of fortune and this is a time of positive change coming into you okay there's going to be a situation that's going to suddenly move forward in a beautiful new forward direction and it's as though you're going to feel like fortunes on your side good karma beautiful crowning energy first joy and now the karmic wheel of fortune lovers so maybe some of you are going to feel and receive something in the form of a companion, a partnership, a full-time commitment, uh, someone may be stepping up and saying how much they care, respect, love, honor, you know, all of those beautiful things, okay, and appreciate you for who you are. But this is also about weighing the decisions and choices that you make now, especially if you're making them from your heart. Be careful. Don't let your emotions get carried away. But also when we talk about the lovers, we talk about being balanced and we talk about, uh, <clears throat> you know, negotiating and cooperating, okay, with someone else in our life. So some of you may be meeting someone new. Uh, that may be your karmic wheel of fortune that's coming into you and the relationship is moving forward in a taking on a new level. But it can have to do with many things. But you may be partnering up with someone. It could be in business. It could also be in a relationship. Beautiful way to start your week, my beautiful Leos. Now your first card here is strength in the in the angel tarot. And strength in the traditional tarot is actually justice. And this is telling me that you need to dig deep and tap into your inner strength. Uh, when you're dealing and communicating with other people this week, I want you to do it in a kinder, more forgiving, understanding manner. 
okay and you know think about compromise coming into the equation I want you to release any harsh judgments that you're carrying within your heart right now that you might be uh, you know there might have been sort of a miscommunication with someone I want you to clear that up okay um, they're also showing me you're walking away from a situation but forgiveness and compassion will come into play here and that will be the resolution to any problems that you have that you're dealing with now also <clears throat> you catch more bees with honey than you do with vinegar and there's that about it again but when the justice card comes up it means that things are going to work in your favor what have we got with that? Look what you've got. Wow. Again, the world. Not only did you get the wheel, but you got the world. And the world is your oyster. The world is at your feet, right? This is all about you stepping up and being able to move forward. This is a beautiful, beautiful card here of knowing that the world is yours. Some of you may be traveling. Some of you may be planning a trip in the, in the near future okay uh, and that's great right now you can't be going anywhere we know that that's obvious but I do think that in the near future you might be planning a holiday that maybe you didn't actually have the opportunity to go on with this with this isolation and lockdown and you may be planning that this is the wheel turning the wheel of fortune turning for you in your favor being able to step up and see things working out in your favor okay so you know what it's about moving to the next level some of you may be receiving an award for something that you've done. This could be moving to a new house or moving to a new job. All right. Um, also, you know, you're going to get to see the full, the full clarity of a situation here. All right. And, uh, you know, and that's going to help you move forward. This is like the card of freedom, being able to go where you want to go. And you've spiritually evolved to a whole new level of understanding here. This is beautiful. So not only did you get the karmic wheel of good fortune coming in and luck changing, but now you're moving forward in that direction that you want to go. And you've stayed strong throughout the whole thing and patient. You've been given the eight of air and the eight of air is the eight of swords. And this is still saying that you need to keep your eyes open and see the whole picture. You, you tend to feel like you've be, you're trapped in a situation and you're lacking confidence and you're afraid to take action. Well, I'm here to tell you that you're the lead horse here that everything else that's running you down is way behind you and you're outrunning your fear. So step up into your power, my beautiful Leos. You are the lion. You're the king of the forest. You're the king of the jungle. Step up. Be strong. Look what you've got. Justice is going to be served. Okay? Things are going to work out in your favor. You have no reason to worry. If some of you are dealing with a legal issue with the courts or whatever, you've had your struggles, but justice is going to be served and it will come out in your favor. Uh, this is a good card to, to let you know that you need to stop worrying so much. Okay. And once you get to see the whole picture and true clarity and, and you know, absolute truth, uh, you get to see the whole story and nothing but the story, story. So help you God. That's the truth here. You're going to be able to get rid of that worry. Okay. This is about, you know, cutting through an illusion and looking at the, the way forward now. You know, you're establishing right and wrong here. Believe in yourself. Don't doubt your motivations or intentions and be ready to leap into action and be objective about your limitations. Okay? Don't come out of this situation bitter. Just need to see the whole picture, but justice is going to be served and it will be in your favor. This is a gift coming in here saying that. High Priestess stepping up into your power. Okay, listening to your own intuition, having patience, all right, being able to step up into your power and, and take control of yourself and the situation you're dealing with at this time. And it could be a legal issue for some of you, okay. Um, you know, this is about finding out information in the background. She has this ability to know that maybe there's secrets in the background, all right. Maybe there's a, information that you need to find out and the truth is going to come forward and that's what's going to free you here. Look what you've got here. You've taken time here. You've got the four of swords and this means rest. Okay. Respite, rest, relief. All right. Thinking about things that you need to process, not pushing yourself so hard and, and finding out that information, not jumping into a situation before you know all the facts. Okay. So that's you taking time to rest, taking time to contemplate and reflect on things right now. And when you do that, that's when you find out the information that you need to move forward with the situation. Seven of water, choices and decisions to be made. Okay. 
there may be a complex complex decision that you have to make and it might involve three other people but you're going to come out of it okay you're going to be the star that's that yet that is illuminating more than any of them you, and again this talks about doing research and stop procrastinating being sure and clear on what it is you want before you ask for it or you go for it when you have to make this decision and with that you've got the eight of pentacles and that's you working hard towards your goal all right wanting things to come to fruition wanting to see abundance come in wanting to see your career evolve wanting to see the money that maybe you have been have been promised maybe this is about a settlement for some of you all right a disbursement of some sort of money or properties but you're working hard towards a goal and this could also have to do with going back to school taking a, a new form of study uh, you know putting your nose to the grindstone as they say to get where you want to go and you're working hard towards that you know that's what the eight of Pentacles usually talks about it talks about getting to work doing the work and seeing the progress come in seeing 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 the success come in because you've worked hard for it you know um, you know your due diligence and your discipline to do something and being dedicated to it but it's also about being patient okay and um, you know what again I said you might be training for some sort of new skill and widening widening your knowledge here okay getting down to the nitty-gritty and paying attention to detail here so that you can make the right choices and decisions here that you have to make look at below the wheel of fortune and the world what do you get the star the best card in the deck Leo this is all about you illuminating your path it's about happy times and making positive and optimistic long-term plans and knowing that you're on the right path so stay focused don't be afraid okay stay focused on what you're doing here that's what you're doing you're working towards that goal so that you can make the right choices and decisions and you're going to be getting noticed for that you're going to be people are going to notice you you're going to be uh, you know getting the respect and the and and the attention that you so deserve being able to illuminate and see light at the end of the tunnel wow best card in the deck something's coming to an end completion in order for you to move forward and feel this full effect of this beautiful wonderful uh, divine energy of good luck being sent to you but it could be the completion of a project or any or something that you were working on a contract or it could be the end of a relationship moving into a new new one uh, moving into a brand new world stepping up knowing that you're going to be a, be able to see your future unfold in front of you now a better future embrace it embrace this new future coming in Leo endings often bring new beginnings and we have to have an ending to do that now you have some fire cards here the Queen of fire and these are wands the Queen of Wands so I this is telling me that you may be stepping out independent and going solo for some for you know in your life or maybe you're going to open your own business and you're going to be your own boss but you're going to stretch your wings and fly now and don't underestimate yourself in the process you're going to be asserting your independence and creativity here because now you're going to be able to step up into your confidence okay this is beautiful this is you stepping up moving towards your goals where it is you want to be there's your there again is your eight of cups coming in uh, you know you haven't had the eight of cups you've had the eight of Pentacles right next to the eight of Pentacles working hard towards a goal you know you want to go in a new direction the death card came up just before that saying you are going to be moving in a new direction but you're not quite there you're in the process of planning it okay you are in the process of planning where it is you want to go and you may be going on your own okay you're not quite there you need to be balanced all right you see these cups they're eight they're not evenly distributed they're five and three instead of four and four but you know you're moving in a new new direction and you know what it is you want where you want to go but you're just not quite there be patient you've got the nine of wands okay don't give up don't give up don't allow yourself to think that you're defeated all right you're moving forward here 
and protect what you've created. Have courage and believe in yourself. This is all about not being afraid. Okay, not being afraid, stepping up and stepping into your power, standing your ground, not being afraid to go alone, not being afraid to, to go solo. All right, stepping up by yourself. Stop worrying about the past. Okay, stop feeling worried about the future. That's what this is about. You're not going to have to worry. Look at the gifts coming in. You've been given the Six of Pentacles. This is about you receiving gifts. This is give and take, push pull energy. This is compromise that's being made here. Yes, some of you may be getting gifts. Could be in the time, in the form of time, effort, or support. All right. Don't don't worry so much. You're going to get, and you're going to see the fairness come in. This is about being fair. This is all about being fair. Okay? Not, you know, and not worrying so much about it. This is generosity. All right? And and graciousness to receive gifts coming in. Some of you could be give it loss and gain. Okay? I said push pull, give and take, right? This is shifting of power. All right? Some of you may be seeking approval for something here. But know that you're going to see uh, things work out fairly. The two of wands. This is knowing that you're coming into your own. Okay. This is stepping up into your power and maybe getting together with someone else in a partnership. This could have to do with contracts. Uh, also, new contracts, new partnerships uh, you're dealing with could be in business or in relationship. But I see you continuing to move forward. This is a beautiful card of moving forward. Absolutely moving forward in a positive direction. Uh, you know, you've worked hard for what it is and where it is you want to be. So I want you to celebrate that. All right? Celebrate that. Two is a number of doubling strength and splitting power. You know, it's time to take the bull by the proverbial horns and show that you are a force to be reckoned with. And again, remember the power is working through you. And two means that sometimes rather than merely doubling up your sense of power, you might have to share the power with someone else to make a success of your plans. All right. Getting together with someone else in a partnership. And right now you're feeling like you have the whole world in your hand and you're looking for your ship to come in. You're making your mark, my friend, on the world. You've worked hard for it. And so you're making your mark now. Okay? This is beautiful. Beautiful. You're widening your perspectives. All right? Showing that you mean business. What have we got with this here? Look what you have. The Ten of Cups. Happy ever after. That's what this means. Contentment. Harmony happiness, joy. Look at this joy that came in. Being able to celebrate everything good that's coming into you and feeling such great gratitude because when you show gratitude, you receive more abundance. This could be, you know, abundance in your home life, relationships, and your workforce. This could be, you know, buying a new home, moving to a new home. Beautiful, beautiful card. You know, you've done the work here and you're working towards, you know, what you want and it's coming in. When you get the Ten of Cups with the two of the two the two of you know of, of of wands, you're moving forward. You've done the work. This is amazing, amazing energy coming in. Happy ever after. Everything's gonna work out in your favor this week. Just stay focused, okay? Um, but again I see partnership here coming in. You're working towards your goals and I see partnership coming in here. You're moving in a new direction and some of you are going alone on your own, stepping out to be your own boss, but maybe you decided you're going to bring a partner into that. Some of you maybe, uh, you know, again, it could be the partnership here in marriage, all right, in a relationship, in a commitment, but you're going to make a commitment, that's for sure. Your final outcome card from the surrender 
deck is surrender to the wonder of awe. This is the outcome card. Open to the magic of every moment and sense the awe and wonder in all of life. This attitude will keep you connected with the ecstasy of flow. So it kind of correlates here to the joy card that we talked about. You need to feel this joy. You're going to have reason to celebrate. I mean, this is amazing. You know, you've got the world, you've got, you've got the wheel of fortune, you've got the beautiful ten of cups. You're going to have reason to surrender to the wonder of all my beautiful Leos and experience this beautiful joy this week. Well, my beautiful lions, this is your reading and I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful optimistic week here to look forward to. Just stay focused, okay? Uh, just stay focused here. Don't allow fear to step in to the equation and lead the path. Lead, lead you on your path because you've got a lot of beautiful, beautiful positive cards here for next week. Just stay focused on what it is you want and it's coming in. I mean, the final outcome card, the Ten of Cups, happy ever after. And never forget how far you've come, everything you've gotten through, all the times you have pushed on even when you felt you couldn't, all the mornings you got out of bed no matter how hard it was. And all the times you wanted to give up, but you got through another day. Please never ever forget how much strength you have learned and developed throughout all your struggles and, and trials and, and challenges to this point. And remember, the universe and the divine, your higher power, wants you to succeed and find your happiness and peace. So surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness. Blessings, my beautiful souls, and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you. My prayers and blessings are for continued good health. Please play safe. Be safe. See you soon.